Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we have an exclusive interview with WWE 2K20 cover star Roman Reigns as myself, JB and Delzinski were given the opportunity to speak to Roman ahead of the 2K20 cover reveal and ask him a few questions such as what it's like to share the cover with Becky Lynch and what we can expect from this year's game modes. So let's jump in with our first question as I asked Roman what it means to be on the cover alongside Becky Lynch and if he'd known about it for long. I was super excited, man. I, I'm a big fan of everything that she's done. All the women, um, you know, for that matter, they just completely stepped up. And and also, I think what what really makes it feel so special is, you know, with the year I've had, um, with me having to take a leave, uh, to see, the, I mean, all this happened, you know, while I was gone. And, and to see that develop, to see, you know, my coworkers step up, to see my coworkers, you know, fill in and, and, and take care of, you know, our business and, and next man up, essentially. You know, um, it, it was really cool to see them thrive and, and just take advantage of the moment. Um, so, you know, I think me and Becky both had in our own, you know, separate ways, we had incredible years, uh, a lot of adversity, um, and you've kind of seen us come through it and, and make it to the other end. And uh, it's just a really good feeling to be able to just share it with a strong woman, um, I'm a proud father of an 11 year old little girl. She's in the other room right now. And, uh, I, I really, um, you know, can't stress enough how important it is that we have, um, role models, uh, for both sexes, you know, for, for both genders. And, and it's extremely important that we have strong little women growing up, uh, knowing that they can do anything and, and they have every opportunity to do that. Um, and it's just a matter of them, you know, taking it and, and taking that ball and running with it. And Becky Lynch, the man. Um, the woman is a perfect example of that, and I'm, I'm just extremely proud to be able to, you know, share this moment with her and, and, and collab on this project. It's been great. Didn't know that long, though. It was kind of popped up on me, you know, right before, which was nice because it's been one of those years, you know, a surprise year, you know what I mean? So it was just nice to have another awesome surprise like 2K20. Continuing to focus on Reigns being on this year's cover, Delsinski followed up my question by asking Roman if he'd sought out any advice from Seth Rollins after he appeared on the cover of WWE 2K18. I was talking about this a little earlier. Um, he was kind of the catalyst that made me really want to be on the cover. Um, when I saw his his commercial and that, that trailer and everything when they released, it was so cool and man, I was so proud of him. You know, I was so proud of just you know, how it was, just the way it, it was delivered, the way he looked. It was just such a cool, cool promo. And, and just to see him kill it like that, it made me want to be able to do the same thing. And, and who would have thought that I'd be sharing it with, with his lady? You know, it's, it's strange, but it's such a crazy, you know, it's just a small world and, and just the way some things work out. But yeah, his performance and just the way that worked out and, and the burn it down, it, it really just worked all the way into his character now. So that's just how strong, you know, our, our relationship with 2K is that we can literally create a gimmick off of that. You know what I mean? That was a collaboration between 2K and Seth Rollins um, to be able to push something forward and have a, a an awesome character moment that's really defined the last couple of years for him. So. You know, hopefully I'm lucky enough to get the same type of treatment, you know. It's okay, I hope you're listening. So Roman brings up a good point here about WWE's relationship with 2K and the way that we see elements of the 2K games bleeding over onto TV, which isn't something that's limited to just Seth's burn it down gimmick, as we've also seen the likes of Goldberg and Brock Lesnar facing off following their 2K promotion, Sting making his debut in the series and then on TV, plus there's the Ultimate Warrior return to the series and then again returning to TV, so it's kind of crazy when you think about just how these games have impacted what we actually see on WWE TV. Getting back to the questions, JB was up next as he again touted the creation suite and he asked Roman if he could face anyone or anything, who or what would he face? This, this is going to be a strange one. You said anything, right? I'd have to, uh, me and our truth have had a debate for a long time if he could take a moose. I, I know y'all know our truth and the craziness that he's, he goes through every day. That's the type of stuff we talk about. So he thinks he can slap a moose. He, he thinks he can walk up to a moose and slap it, and it won't do anything to him. And I told him, you don't understand how big moose are. That thing will grab you with its antler and throw you across the highway. And he doesn't believe it. He, he told me he was like, oh, I'd slap it. It would charge me, and I'd arm He said he would arm drag it. He said he'd arm drag a bear before, too. That, that's the type of stuff that he says. So I think I would have to, uh, I'd have to win this bet and 
and have my character beat up a moose, a full-grown moose. So there you have it, we had Becky Lynch wanting to square off against Hey Arnold in the previous interview, and now we have Roman Reigns set to take on a full-grown moose, something that I highly expect we'll see you when 2K20 drops. So moving on to the next question, I want to see if Roman would be happy to share any new details on what we can expect from the likes of the 2K Showcase, so I asked him what can fans expect to see this year following last year's focus on Daniel Bryan. Uh, you know, I think that's kind of the, the great part about it, and you know, we, we want to share as much as we can, but we like to keep a few secrets under our sleeves. So it's one of those situations where, you know, it's always going to be a special, uh, you know, promotion, a special um, delivery. But I don't, I don't want to give away too much. Uh, but it's one of those deals. You, you know when to tune in. You know when we, when we showcase. So it's, uh, hopefully it'll be as, as cool, if not even better. So unfortunately, unlike Becky, who gave quite a bit away, Roman kept both his and 2K's cards close to the chest, instead teasing upcoming reveals at a later date. Next up, following his recent team in with The Undertaker, Delzinski asked Roman if there was anyone in NXT that he'd be interested in teaming with. That's a tough one. Um, you know, I, to be honest, and this might be the obvious choice just because he's kind of, a, it seems like he's one of the studs down there. Uh, actually, I'll go with a two-piece here. I'll go, I think Velveteen would be nice um, because I've just heard nothing but, you know, the best out of him um, and, and from, you know, my peers and, and mentors as well. Um, you know, the guys who are down there training um, uh, and grooming him, they, they've just really spoken highly of, of his talent, his knowledge, uh, and his work ethic. And if you have all three of those, you're going to be in a good place, especially when you have potential. Um, so I think it would be nice to see him, you know, do his thing, you know, up up close and personal. Uh, and there's nothing better than having the the best seat in the house on the apron, seeing the, you know, seeing these superstars go to work. Uh, and then for a completely different reason, I'd like to see Matt Riddle as well. Uh, you know, he, he's he's very choice with his words, and he has a lot of critiques about different performers. So I, I'd like to see the guy who thinks he knows it all uh, up close and personal as well. Both great talents, but both with different approaches, which I respect, but you, you, you don't really get to know people, and, and, and especially in this business, and, until you uh, have that interaction in the ring. So those are two young lions I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, rapping with a little bit. So they have two partners that Roman would like to team with, with his comments proving pretty interesting about just how well people talk about Velveteen and the reaction that he gets from his peers, especially in comparison to Matt Riddle, who's well known as being outspoken when it comes to criticising stars like Goldberg, so it makes you wonder what the rest of the locker room make of his comments. Finally, the last question, seeing JB ask Roman if there was one standout moment that he feels really defines his career up to this point. Oh. That's a tough one, man. It's, um, you know, there's just been so many powerful moments, so many moments that I just look back and um, I cherish, you know, and I that have just, you know, made me and, and helped me and propelled me. And that goes along with the performers that I'm in, in the ring with and the people I'm out there, you know, creating with. Um, but I would say most likely because my life just, hasn't been the same since um, my first WrestleMania main event against Brock uh, out there in, in Santa Clara, out there in Cali. Um, man, it was just it was just one of those perfect moments, you know, and it just it just worked and it was simple and it was brutal and there was emotion and there was drive and there was aggression and I think the you know, I think the world saw what kind of backbone I had that night, what kind of uh, resilience I had and and, you know, I can be a tough SOB uh, when I'm put, you know, with, with when my back's against the wall. So uh, I'd say uh, that that night, you know, that main event, WrestleMania, um, it, it was uh, unlike any. So there you have it. That was our exclusive interview with Roman Reigns. Unfortunately, he didn't reveal too much about the game itself as he remained tight-lipped, but it was cool to hear him praise Becky and the other women for stepping up and noting just how the women being shown in such a strong role can help impact the future of young girls everywhere, including his own. Anyway guys, that does it for this video, but if you haven't done so yet, please check out our previous interview with fellow WWE 2K20 cover star Becky Lynch, as Becky dropped a few new details about this year's game, including details on the 2K Showcase and My Career Mode. So I'll leave a link to that on screen and in the description, but make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for more WWE 2K20 coverage, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.